Tell us about the vice president. Yes, just this afternoon, we're going to see the first presidential candidate for the January elections next year. That's Taiwanese Vice President Lai Qingde, who will be officially nominated by the ruling DPP as the presidential candidate for the election. So like, this is actually not the first attempt for Vice President Lai to join um, the presidential race. Actually, in 2019, that's last election, uh, just in March, right days before President Tsai's U.S. trip, Lai Qingde declared that he wanted to join DPP's primary. That led to a little bit of tension um, between the ties of Tai and Lai. And later that year, President Tsai defeated Vice President Lai Qingde in the party's primary, and Tsai decided to appoint Lai as his running mate for the presidential election. And the next year, both Tsai and Lai, they won the 2020 presidential election. So right now, this is just like the first time that Vice President Lai finally be able to realize his dream to run for DPP as the presidential candidate. Lai was a Harvard-educated doctor. He decided to ditch his medical career in 1990s um, and turn to politics. He later became a lawmaker in Taiwan and then was elected as the mayor of Tainan City, that's a southern city in Taiwan, twice. So he was actually very famous in Taiwan. And the most important part, the most famous quote of Lai Qingde was in 2017, when he was the Taiwanese premier. He told lawmakers at legislature that he is a practical worker for Taiwan independence. But Lai has recently walked back his stance on the Taiwan independence party. He has now insisted that he will be in line with President Tsai's stance on the cross policy and the international relations, as there is no need for Taiwan to declare independence because Taiwan is already an independent country. So it's interesting to see how Lai, what Lai will say um, this afternoon and um, when he was officially nominated by DPP, what his speech will be about his policies and the direction for the future of Taiwan. How important is this election and who should we be watching out for? Yes, this election is definitely very, very important given the rising tension between China and U.S. right now. So the, the, the election will not only decide the future of Taiwan, but it also will shape the direction of geopolitical politics or even global economy for the years to come. So this is an election that will be closely watched by Washington and Beijing. And right now, um, in addition to Vice President Lai, uh, we haven't yet seen the candidates from from the opposition KMT party. But there are two hopefuls for KMT right now. One is the Foxconn Fox Hong Technology Group's founder, Terry Guo, who just wrapped up his visit to the U.S. last week. So he certainly was trying to use his visit to the U.S. to gain a nomination for KMT. Another hopeful for the opposition KMT is New Taipei City Mayor Hou Yi. So these two candidates are the, those we will keep a close eye on.